new carport design here. Okay, let's run through the the free cab model. House is here. That's the first floor only. Second floor. What marks this this new design of the carport is that we're using tall, about 13 foot or so. They happen to be exactly measured 151 inches. So that's uh, 144 is 12. So that's that's 12.75 feet as far as the height. They're two by six. This is all sheathed with half inch exterior plywood, and that plywood goes all the way to the top for sheer st stabilization. So the, as you see, the edges here they're doubled up with two by sixes. So that should be a pretty stiff connection, stabilizing these two weak points here. But the linear structure should get this uh, the correct kind of strength for the the railing right here, just like on this other side, the railing. Uh, is effectively built of the entire tall module. It's four modules here, four modules here, these short ones. These short ones here are attached to the joists. And there's going to be a deck, three, three quarter inch OSB with EPDM top, so it's actually a usable deck for doing yoga, for sun, sun, sunning yourself up there. Now what about the rain? So first of all we're going to cover the interior of this entire carport so the carport is gonna put your vehicles or whatever underneath on top here your sun bathing in order to cover there's a gap here like rain could get in there so we'll also sheathe this side the interior of the deck uh, so that no water gets behind it now this is slightly sloped if you look from the front exactly four inches over the 16 foot length for water runoff now what happens to the water that's an interesting one here. Can we do this? So for the water, if there's going to be a deck here with EPDM, the water runs down until it hits this flashing, which is sandwich. It's effectively like vinyl, flat vinyl that's bent, so it's squeezed between uh, the header here and the framing, uh, the exterior framing. But it makes this kind of a block where the water can certainly get in there if you look from the top. Uh, look at it, you can't really see it. it's under the railing, but there's gaps, there's basically, it's curved around so the water can get in there. So what are we doing? Water inside the house? No, there's a gutter. Uh, what we've got here is this gutter that's actually on the inside because we don't want to penetrate to the outside. The outside is all sheathed and the finish is black. Sorry, I'm recording. The sheathing is, well, it looks like this, if you look at pictures, the actual final look of this, if you look at, uh, this is what the actual final picture looks like, so it's all sheathed, uh, the gutter is actually on the inside there, and then it's going to be sent out from underneath here, where the water is, so that's this mechanism here, this should work, we'll see. Um, run by the engineer but otherwise structurally this is also resting on three uh, piers one on the edge here another one on the edge and one in the middle with um, a beam across it might be enough to do this four by six beam like we have here now uh, the pier in the middle is going to have to be 28 inches three feet down to the frost line the ones on the outside, according to basic calculations, are 22 inches, and we might need a couple of beam, a couple of posts here around the, the door. Now, um, what else here? So what we're showing here is the, the banister is actually doubled up 2 by 6. It might be that the modules have a single 2 by 6, but the whole thing upstairs is, is like a top plate. And here on the bottom, we might might have something like a bottom plate which is a two by two by six or heavier it might have to be like a four by six solid perhaps i don't know the engineer will tell us this so that's the effective design of the carport uh epdm for water on top nice nice relaxation structure functional underneath very simple because now we're using these tall modules 
as opposed to trying to build up a deck and then another railing. Like railings are actually hard. So we're trying to simplify it for fast build. Now I notice this one last thing here. So what is this? This is blocking where you attach the first sheet of plywood. That's that's at the eight foot mark. So the middle of that will be actually eight feet. And there's like half to a little more than half of another sheet up here. And I will get trimmed up so it looks like kind of like in this picture. Okay, so that's the carport.